it's Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another little Christmas project with you. Um, I created this project using the Mente Christmas Stories, and I think this is a couple of years old. Um, I have had it in my stash for quite a while, and as you can see, it's kind of cut up here, but because the back side has these really fun little cut aparts that you can fussy cut out or you can scan and cut if you have one of those fabulous machines. So this is, I wanted to save this so I could tell you exactly what the name of the collection was, but Again, I think it's a couple of years old, but all I did use was the collection. I didn't use any other elements from this except for what I fussy cut back here. So here's what I created, a fun little mini album, and the mini album does measure four and a half by four and a half square. And I got it a little too fat, as usual. Um, so I've got this little clip piece that I had in my stash, and I just used that here. So on the front, I fussy cut I, I just strategically, I don't say fussy cut, I strategically cut this off to one of the 12 by 12 papers. So I'd have this fabulous little deer here. I added some little bling I had in my stash, a little punched out snowflake. This is one of the cardboard stickers from Mente, but it's from the Marion Bright collection. I had a few of those left, so I just added that as well. And then I did double mat this with white on top of the craft. There's the spine. I did add a cute little um, Tim Holtz ring fastener with a little snowflake charm and a couple of jingle bells here, since it says jingle bells. And then there is the back, this fabulous poinsettia paper. So um, this collection actually had a sheet of 12 by 12 that had countdown numbers on it, one through 25. Um, so that's what I, I made a little countdown mini album. Even though I already did one for 2020, I'm gonna save this one for 2021 and I'm ahead of the game, yay. So I'm gonna unclip this. As you can see, see I got it way too fat, but oh well, live and learn. I should have made my spine a little bit bigger. But you open it up and again, um, just decorative here. This is the spirit of Christmas. Again, I strategically cut this from the 12 by 12 paper. I double matted it on the white and I have a little snowflake here with a little gem in the middle and that's I think from Prima. So they're all going to be pocket pages. There's four units so we're going to have 24 numbers. And again, I also added some solid aqua cardstock, a solid red, and then the white and then a green to coordinate with its collection. So these, I all had to fussy cut these out. They were pretty simple, and I'm not a fussy cutter, as y'all know. So this first unit's gonna have all green papers in the background with random papers on the pockets. They're gonna be white on the back, and the little number inserts, I think, are three, yeah, three and a quarter by three and a quarter, so you can put a little three by three photo back there. You could also put a photo, you could just slide your photos in if you wanted, and then journal here, that'd be really cute. So it's not decorated too much because as you can see, I got it pretty fat. So that's number one. That's one of the fussy cut cookies from that page. Here's the solid red that I used. So this is all gonna be the green papers in the background. Another fussy cut element. There's number three. And then I did make these little inserts and I almost didn't put them in, but I thought I've already made them, I'm gonna use them. These are little three by four booklets. And I use the same papers on all of them. They're gonna have the pattern paper here, and then I have two that are green and two that are red, and then I've got the white on the inside. So those are just gonna go right in the side pockets here. Again, number four, fussy cut element. And we've got another fussy cut element, the cute cocoa, and there's number five. And then here is number six. So each one of these units are gonna have six numbers in them, so you need four units. And there's number six. So number seven is gonna be the red papers. This unit here, and I've got number seven, another fussy cut element, another fussy cut element here. There's number eight, fussy cut element. Number nine, this paper is beautiful. And then you flip it over, another fussy cut element here. I've got number 10, and another um, piece of the design paper here. Here's number 11. Another, I just, this was just, I just flipped it over and I said, oh, that looks pretty cute. So I just used this side instead of the reverse side as well. There's number 12. And then we've got 13 here. We've got 14. So now I'm getting into number unit three. So unit two was the red. Unit three is going to be the teal snowflake paper. So all these papers have the same design in the back and you'll see that. Um, we've got 15 here, some more fussy cut elements. There's that same booklet. We've got 16. 
another fussy cut element in 17. And fussy cut element, we've got 18 and 19. We're getting to the last unit. The last unit's gonna have this really fun wood grain paper. So I used the three different star, uh, snowflake print papers in the three different colors. And then I used the fourth paper was the wood grain, which I thought worked out really well with this paper because all these numbers are, are like on a, a wood circle. Super cute. So again, I fussy cut that one out. That's 19. Another fussy cut element. We've got 20. 21. There's that booklet again. 22. Love the little fussy cut deer. He was so cute I had to have him on the front cover. 23 and then we've got 24 back here and then for oopsie for 25. Um, I found this fun little number 25 and I think this is from Prima as well. Maybe it might be Tim Holtz. I don't know. Um, but it said 25, so I glued that down. I made a little belly band, and then I've got a little stopper here that says, We wish you a Merry Christmas. That's a little cardboard sticker, and that's from the Mente paper that's called Merry and Bright. And then I made a larger little photo mat for 25. So that goes back in there, and the little tag here stops it from falling out. And then there you go. And then it just closes back like this because I got it too full. <laughs> so that's my fun little mini album that I created using an older collection from Mente. I think it's a couple years old called Christmas Stories. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.